X on the spot. Look at this! Oh, she put up such a fight! That's what you're talking about right there, folks. <laughs> beautiful job. Oh, that's a pig! That's a big bass! Oh, stuck him. Uh, right where he's supposed to be. Best fish of the day. <laughs> oh my goodness! Crushed. Another really nice fish. Gonna have a salmon on here. <laughs> Got him. Big fish. Oh my gosh. Look at that perch. Angler X, honest, informative, real multi-species angler. What's up everybody and welcome to another Angler X video. The river is wide open. Can you believe it? Just a couple weeks ago we were talking about how much ice there was and how cold it was. It can change just like that. And now we got open water. The boat landings are open. We can get the boat out. But first, I want to share you my last ice fishing adventure from last weekend. I get into some really shallow backwaters and get some great underwater footage of some perch. So stay tuned for that. But next week, we're going to be in the boat catching walleyes, northern or perch. I don't know which it's going to be. We're going to try for a little everything and bring you the best show we can next week. But stay tuned. This week's show is a good one. Enjoy. Guys, I just came back into this really skinny backwaters. I only got like a foot of water under the ice, but it's just full of green weeds. And I drilled around and uh, I found some where I got a little bit of water over the top of the weeds. I dropped it down and within seconds a perch showed up and then this guy came in and he hammered it. We may have found something here. We're gonna keep fishing and see what we come up with. Here we go, another one. Not a giant, but that was cool. The water's just crystal clear in here. I'm just trying to set this set line here and Perch came up and grabbed it before I even got it set. It wasn't very big, but... And that was vicious. No perchy on the set line. We got perch in here, guys. We just gotta see if we can get some decent ones. That first one I caught was 10 inches, so that was a decent one. I'm gonna set up my homemade jaw jacker. I've had some success with this already. I showed you my homemade jaw jacker in last week's video and caught a few fish on it. I've had pretty good luck with it. It's a, had pretty good success rate on hook sets. The way this works is I just gotta got a coat hanger kind of bent up and rigged up here and that's got a little tab on it right there that's where the eye of the rod's gonna go so you set the line over the trigger here when the fish pulls down it'll pull it off of that eye and the rod will snap up but it shouldn't snap up until this bobber raises all the way up and the fish is out of slack at least that's the idea. So my other set line is an Arctic Warrior. And I had this in my last video as well. The Arctic Warrior is just a tip down setup that you use your regular rod and you put this bracket on, on your rod. I used electrical tape just to attach it. Set it in the saddle right here. And then hook it over the line. And put it in the notch there. Once you get that set, then you can flip the bale so that the fish has line to run with. 
when the fish takes it, the rod tip will go down, the flag will come up, and the fish will be able to take out line. And then you, when you come over here, you flip the bale over and fight the fish. Go. Nice little perch. Look at little guy. There we go. There we go. It's a little better. A fatty. Still not quite a keeper, but another good fish on the jacker. So I'm out on the backwaters of Pool 8 today. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous day. It's early March and we have temperatures in the 50s. The ice is going fast, but I'm in a real shallow backwater and I've got green weeds down there. And there's a few perch swimming around. Right now the perch have been a little on the small side, but what I'm trying to do is catch a few nice ones, but also to get some underwater footage. See if we can get some good shots of the perch underneath the ice. But I've drilled several holes in this bay and uh, the deepest water is only a couple feet. Here's a fish on it right now. Got him. But um, I can see my bait right under the ice. The water's crystal clear. And I'm just watching for those fish to come in. And they engulf it. They've been really aggressive. But I got several holes drilled, like I said, and I'm just bouncing around. See if I can catch a few decent ones. Hoping that some bigger fish move in later on. Obviously, we got the right conditions for perch. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here, but... When you can find green weeds like this under the ice, uh, you're gonna find fish just because there's a lot of life in these green weeds and uh, there's there's a lot of oxygen there for the fish. So they're gonna be in here and they're gonna be active. It's just a matter of if we can catch a couple decent ones or not. Nonetheless, we're catching some fish. It's a beautiful day. No complaints from me. Just like that, little guy. So cool, I can see him just come right in and engulf it. These are all male fish pushing up in these shallow bays to get ready to spawn. Females won't be too far behind them. They're obviously not in here in great numbers yet. If a guy were to come back in a week or two, probably find a lot more big females in here. The smaller males are definitely here and they're feeding. Getting my exercise in today. Oh, 
and got away with it. Haven't been missing many on the Arctic Warrior. It's a little better. There we go. Nice fish. A little better. Not quite a keeper. We'll get him back. Jacker just went off. Fish on. There we go. Nice fish. Man, there's a lot of perch in here. Whew. You guys are wondering what this pole is right here. That's what I got my camera attached to. So I got a camera watching this minnow, as you'll see in the footage. But I use that pole. I can set it at whatever depth I want and then point it right at the, the minnow. So that's what that is. Man, two of them just raced and the bigger one got it, but missed them. On the jacker. Little fatty. Little fatty. There's a good one. Ha ha! Finally got another keeper. I'm keeping a few fish today if I can get enough. This will be my second keeper of the day. Sega Pike took a hold of him. cool just tagged a pretty nice perch here but something came flying out of his mouth we'll check it out look at that it's a baby bass 
That perch ate that baby bass. Never used too big of a bait for these perch. It's amazing what they can eat. Get that guy back. Another bluegill. Nice one. Got him. Nice fish. go no hesitation on that one man did he come in fast it's nice i can see the smaller fish i can play keep away with them because they've been coming in in groups so you don't want that smaller fish to grab it because then you might miss an opportunity at at the bigger one guys march is such a great month to be fishing it's Especially when the weather's like this. It's just awesome. The, the ice is melting. The fish are just getting all cranked up. Fish are going to start moving into shallower backwaters, and that's exactly where we're at. Perch are going to be here for sure, as you can see, and then the sunfish and even the crappies will start to move in. But when you have weather like this and you're catching fish, I mean, it, it's just hard to beat that. It's just such an awesome day out here. Not a stitch of wind. I'm the only one in this whole bay. Got the whole place to myself. It's just chock full of perch. Can't imagine um, anything better other than possibly having some bigger fish. There we go. <laughs> better one. Nice perch. There's a pile of perch down there, guys. I think I hit the gold mine here. I'm gonna let those fish go. I'm just not putting them back right yet to, so I don't disturb the school. There's so many fish down there. Oh my gosh. There's so many perch down there. Oh, this is hilarious. Look at that, a shiner. Cool. Dude, there's so many fish in here right now. That, you don't catch shiners every day. Bigger perch. Come on, eat it. Guy's just nipping it. Come on, eat it. Got him. There we go. Nice perch. Man, he just nipping at it. I could see his lips like going in and out, and I dropped it right in front of him and he sucked it in. Uh, look at that. He's got my last two minnows. What a glut. Jeez. Wow. That was awesome seeing those perch underwater. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. It's so cool seeing those fish in their natural environment and how they react to the bait. Next week we're going to be in the boat. I guarantee it. So come back next week and we'll have another great show for you. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching.